What's up you guys, it's Bart here and boy has it been a long time since I last uploaded but let me explain why. As some of you may know, I recently moved to London to start my new job as a real estate agent and let's just say it's taken me quite some time to properly settle in and find some time to record a YouTube video. But luckily I'm back on track now so make sure to subscribe to not miss out on new content that's going to be coming out about my life as an estate agent and my life in London in general because I'm sure there'll be some stories to tell and I wouldn't want you to miss out. And today's story is certainly not cheap so providing you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and followed my new property Instagram account, let's get right into the video. So to put it simply, I definitely underestimated just how much it would cost to live in London. But my biggest pet peeve, one of the biggest battles and the largest battles I've had here in London has been parking. Seriously, I would have never thought it would have been so awkward, expensive and stressful to park in London. So let's take some time today to talk about parking permits, availability and my most recent horror story with parking in London. Now for you to understand my frustration fully, we've got to take it back a couple of steps. So just before I joined this company, I was told that the area that I now live in and the area that I operate in as an estate agent has been um, turned into a controlled parking zone, which essentially means that everyone that parks in the area has to have a parking permit. Now, for a lot of you that might not mean anything, but I'm just trying to explain it and, and get you to appreciate how frustrating it has been. So it's, what it essentially means is that every single morning I either have to walk half an hour to work or drive sort of halfway there and then walk for 15 minutes into the office. Now, obviously, that is not awful. Like, people do much worse, right? That is, I'm not even complaining. Like, I don't even mind a half an hour walk. It's really good for me. Helps me fresh my mind. But I was convinced when I moved, moved here that I'd just be able to drive into the office, hop out of my car and get on with my work. So it was just one of those frustrating things that I had no idea would happen. And that's just London for you. There is permit parking absolutely everywhere and it is a nightmare to get a permit. I tried so, so hard to get a permit for the area that I operate in, but the council would just wouldn't give me one purely because I don't live in the area and they wouldn't grant my business with one because they've already got too many. So I don't have a business parking permit. I can't use my own car for business um, and I'm having to use our company car, which is shared, which is fine. Um, but again, it's just one of those little frustrating things that I didn't really consider before I moved here. So there you go. That's the parking permit story. Um, and just to add to that, I did actually write a very long <laughs> document to the council to try and get this parking permit. That's how determined I was, but they just came back and rejected me anyway. So there you go. That's London for you. Okay, so let's talk about parking availability because that's the next section of this video. And let me just keep this short and sweet. Parking availability in London is awful. Wherever you go, there is cars everywhere and it's almost impossible to park. So when I say I go halfway to work and then park somewhere and then walk, nine times out of 10, I go to the spot where there's free parking and there is absolutely no spaces left. So I have to circle around the block like a million times until I find something or until somebody pulls away. So it, it's just one of those things that, again, I just didn't consider before moving here. So anyone that's moving to London, anyone that's considering moving to London, research the parking in the area, research the permits, research the council, research everything to do with parking, even its costs, whatever it might be, because you do not want to be um, so unpleasantly surprised as I was. Now, I did also say that I wanted to do a bit of storytelling from my experiences in London. So here we go, here's my experience with parking in London and how it ended up costing me around $50 or £40 if you're from the UK. Long story short, I met somebody very recently and we decided to go to central London on Sunday, just gone, um, just to explore really and uh, have some food, have a drink, whatever. Ooh, you're hard showing off. The main point of the story is that to get to central London, I had to park my car oh, really? at a station nearby to where I live, at Richmond Station. Um, 
so that I could then get the train and go to London. The only problem here is I did not research the parking costs or anything like that, so I simply drove into the Richmond Station car park and left my car there. Now, as stupid as I am, I came back from central London, hopped in the car, obviously by a drink earlier I meant orange juice, I do not condemn drinking and driving, honestly. Um, I, dr I jumped into my car, um, drove up to the barrier expecting to pay five, maybe six pounds, completely fine. And the parking meter shows me just under 40 pounds for parking and I honestly, I, I could honestly cry. I looked at that figure and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm literally sleeping in this car park for that sort of money. I might as well literally sleep in this car park. It's like paying for a hotel. 40 pounds for parking. Like that was awful. I could not believe it. And I just, oh, it just really, 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 really annoyed me. It was crazy. But there you go. There's an experience. That's what you do. That's what happens when you don't research. You rush. I could have walked to the station. It was a 25 minute walk, but no, I was in a rush. So I was like, I'll drive. Um, and I drove, I parked and I paid a premium. So I think we ended up spending less at a restaurant we went to in central London than we did on parking, which is very disappointing, very annoying, but it's a lesson learnt. And well, it's given me something to share with you guys here on YouTube. Now, I can't believe I've made a whole video about parking, but Essentially, it's a pre-warning to anyone that's thinking of moving to London. Research your area, permits, availability, what times you can park, can't park, and the cost, because it is honestly so important and you want to avoid surprises um, that I've had to experience. So, with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate this short video, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. I will be uploading very regularly, and trust me, there is really good content coming to the channel. And I'm going to try and incorporate my role as an agent into that and show you a couple of properties and just, yeah, just take the channel to a completely different level. So if you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you next time.